Immortals, I am Jensen, and oh my god, did you see the last episode? That was absolutely insane. I have no idea how we got away with the things that we did. Anyway, uh, let's proceed onwards. We are currently in the Stagnant Manufactory. I don't know this game very well. I'm playing completely blind, but I did read it off of the corner of the screen. I did have mods on this game. I had a few mods. I had one mod which uh, removed the cap of trade points. I had another mod which extended the amount of trade points that you can stick into a skill by an additional 10, so you can have 20 trade points. And I am, of course, talking about this menu right here. And unfortunately, my mods are broken. So I have uh, 10 points overspent in this, and I don't know how to remove them, unfortunately. We also have an additional 10. So when we find a trait point that is worth us dumping into, we're going to dump into it. I did also have another mod to balance it all up. Another mod which tripled all of the spawns of enemies, including specials and stuff like that. So it wasn't terribly unbalanced, but at the same time, we were fairly overpowered. Okay, we'll come all the way down here, facing backwards for some reason. Oh, it flips you around when you go in there, so you don't have to look around you. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I understand now. So, last time we came in here, we were ambushed by a bunch of these yucky little crabs and stuff like that, and I feel like we probably want to give a different sidearm a bit of love. Because we didn't give any love to this sidearm here previously when we first got it, unfortunately. It was a bit of a damp fart of a weapon, to be quite honest. It wasn't very good, and all of the trade-offs were way too bad. There it is. He... We're going to our main, where we've got our sandblaster out, our pressure washer, and we're just going to clean up all of these wankers here. I love how I blasted that guy's shield uh, out of his face. Uh, we also can't pick up any of the sidearm ammo on account of the fact that we don't use sidearm ammo anymore. Oh, screw that guy. Gotta kill him. Uh, he's next. Excellent. And we're definitely picking up these red little bits and bobs of ammo because we are using primary ammo. So, if we come all the way around here, we may be attacked again, but that's absolutely fine because to our immediate left, there is somewhere we have not been in this entire complex. And this place is complex. It's in here. Okay, maybe we have to hit this button again to open that door. Is that actually a thing? So I don't think it did anything ahead of us there except for open that door, but... We did have this one open for us, which includes a small elevator. Which I'm just going to look around in here as we go down to make sure we don't miss any, like, secret doors or anything like that. No, it doesn't look like it, does it? Nice! Okay, we made it into there. Ah, uh, this looks dangerous and deadly. There's a guy right there. Oh, oh my God. Who'd have seen that coming? So these are all robots. That is a shield. Piss on that, my guy. Piss on that. I demand. I demand satisfaction. Okay, that shield is not dissipating. Unless we get too close, in which case we can just use a gun. Ow, that guy absolutely just blasted us in the face with his, with his shield. He's got a lightsaber! Okay, I'm gonna pop my sandstorm, and that should wail away past their shields. Nice. Bye-bye! Gonna take that primary ammo right there. And, of course, I'm going to engage with every other robot that we come across as well. Oh, there's a trade point book here. That is worthless to us. That literally adds nothing. We'll take it anyway, just because it's free. But we don't have to. I've fallen in love with this gun as our primary, the big laser beam. It doesn't feel overpowered so much as it... It just kind of rewards you for actually landing consistent damage over time. Oh, maybe we have to stealth through there. Maybe that's it. Possibly. Uh, we can also go up, I think. Hey, there's actually a purple thing up there. Can we actually go up? Not up there. There's got to be a way, right? I saw it. Okay, there's a purple thing up in the control room that way, which is actually directly ahead of the room that we use to activate the controls here, so... I actually think that maybe we go back up there, we hit the button, and potentially we just don't get caught would be a good strategy, I think. If we aren't caught, we could probably actually rob this place for all it's worth. I'm hoping that this is going to reset it, because if it doesn't reset it, I'll be in a bit of a sour piss. It doesn't reset it. Okay. What about this? Does this... No, nothing happens there. So it seems like there was an elevator on the other side of there. That would have allowed us to get into there. And thus... We'd have been able to get through this big door right here, which we can't, apparently. So if we screw this up once, do we just, like, not get a chance to do it again? That's kind of poppycock, don't we think? I feel like that's poppycock. We'll go back to the start of the level. We'll go and hit the bonfire, and then we'll see if it resets it. Yes, we can. Okay, so we just need to go and hit the bonfire. 
So it seems to me like we just need to not get caught in those gigantic red mm. beans. So if we go ahead, just kind of like looking at their patrol routes. Okay, we can do this. We can do, we can do this. We can definitely do this. I think we've got to crouch though. We've got to like sneak, right? And we don't want to be caught with our pants down. So let's try not to drop our pants while we're down here. Would be the best option really. Okay, continue onwards. That is already death right there. This is cool as hell. I love the insistence on actual stealth in this game. Here we go. Oop, he's turning around. No, he's not. It's going down that path right there. There's another guy on the other side of there. And there's someone just over here too. Which I'm going to avoid by going this way. Oh, good. So they can't actually see us as long as we are in the... This is not good. Oh, here we come. So if I go this way, I doubt he's going to see me in here, right? Oh, that was so close. This guy's coming back through this way. I'm going to sneak in. I'm just going to opportunistically sneak behind that robot right there and see if... Oh, oh don't turn around. 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 Oh, 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 that was sweaty bombs. <laughs> I think we did it though. I think we actually did it. First go, baby. Once we figured out what we had to do. They weren't even that bad to kill. Yes. Yes. Okay, what do we get? Is this a melee weapon? The bypass primer. What the hell is, it's a ring. What the hell is this? Bypass, actually, maybe we want to, maybe <laughs> hide before we take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. In our character screen, we could probably do with replacing the infinity pocket. Because when it's you're literally useless to us now. On perfect dodge, reload current firearm. Oh, yes, please. Which is, again, useless to us in one sense. But in the other sense, we do have a weapon that has a high magazine count. So maybe now we could probably try using some kind of SMG. Might be really, really handy for us. And there's also something additional just ahead here. I saw some kind of purple ring... In this room here, I think. Is there a purple item in here? No. Okay, so what's in here then? There's a chest. Well, be still my beating heart. Great. Okay, we made it. So there was an item out on the uh, kind of like ramparts on the outside there, right? I thought that maybe this is where we would heal that uh, dick yet, the severed head in our pocket. Oh, we also have a brand new necklace, the emergency switch. When below 50% health, chance to consume relic on use is reduced by 50%. Huh? Final relic charge is not consumed on use, but effect cannot be triggered again for 30 seconds. Okay, so if we have the emergency switch equipped, there's a 50-50 chance that it just won't uh, use a dragon heart whatsoever when we want to uh, go ahead and heal ourselves up. I don't know if that's good or bad. But the other one could be pretty awesome. If we've only got one dragon heart left, then we won't consume it every 30 seconds as long as we just like space out our heals. So it could be an infinite dragon heart. Actually, that's pretty overpowered as long as we're a bit sparing with using the dragon hearts. So it's probably really, really good for glass cannon builds for people who are really, really good at dodging like myself or like Dark Souls players. I wouldn't necessarily say it's for the players who play the game like Gears of War, because I know that there are players who play this like Gears of War. I am, in fact, one of them sometimes. Is there anything up in these little cubbies? No. Nope, sorry, that was probably revolting to look at, by the way. And we're done here. Let's go find anywhere else to go and loot, maybe ransack. Maybe we'll find a boss or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, so a couple of enemies out here, seems. Oh yeah, you you miss enough of these shots and you absolutely get dicked over with the cube gun. Because the shots are too busy like charging off into the distance. What the hell? Oh, hello. Okay, uh, this guy's probably going to walk at us on his weird gravity system. Is that it? Okay, buddy old pal, guess what I did? You're going to be stoked with this. What did this guy want from us? The end. Oh, mark out the planet. Right, gotcha. Okay, so we need to kind of like plan out the planet to get her on our side. Where have we not been? We want to hit this. I want to go here, go up this little doohickey here. I don't think we went into the central part either. 
Whoa, okay. Damn. Okay, so we've got some crops up here. We probably want to go and find all those dildos, right? We want to go find all the dildos, and we want to make sure that we aren't, like, uh, screwing ourselves a little bit. Uh, let's fire our special down there, so that sand can take out all of these enemies before we even bother. Right. Good. Take them out. Excellent. The sand is so good. Oh my god, I love sand. I am literally... This is like the anti-Anakin build that we've got going here. It's just sand. Just billions and billions of, of things that Anakin doesn't like about sand. Alright, I see a dildo over there. Let's go see if we can disable or dismantle it. Hello there, buddy. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Whoop, that's not good. Good. Okay, got to wail away on him. There's another one way off in the distance there. We'll wait for him to get a little bit closer, I think. Come on over, come on over, baby. Okay, I timed that one poorly. we got to wait for it to go red. You can't use the sound, it seems. Excellent. You know what? We're going to see what kind of uh, mod is on this gun, and we're going to change it around if we must. What has it got? It doesn't have one. Oh, my God. Can you believe that? Mutate it, please. So the battery increases weak spot damage by 10% for every 400 mod power spent by the attached weapons mod. I have no idea what that means. Farsighted. Increases range damage of this weapon by 1.5% for every 2.5 meters from the shooter to the target. Okay, so that increases the weapon's ideal fall off and max range by 5 meters as well, which is pretty good. Harmonizer, attach mod deals, 15% additional mod damage done. It's done. Does this have grass on it? There's grass on this gun. Look, there's grass on the gun. Isn't that weird? What? Is that an eyeball? Oh, is that what we were jamming into the... Oh! Ancient crystals found only in the depths of Yasha's deepest cave adorn this gun made of stone. Surprisingly, moss has sprouted atop the barrel, bringing a measure of softness to nature's hardest material. Yeah, I'll say. The spirits of Yasha are fearsome and unpredictable. As younglings, we're taught to fear their wrath. But why must we always be afraid? If the pan are ever to th truly thrive on Yasha, we must learn to tame it. Fire concentrated sand. Yep, it's sand. Sustained primary fire and sandstorm hits only apply exposed for one second. Oh, that's pretty good. Exposed target receives 15% additional damage from all sources. Oh my god, no wonder this thing's so potent. It's literally increasing the damage of itself as it does damage. From all sources. From all sources, guys. Okay, I'm going to use the cube gun against this thing initially. Anything that we can kind of like activate around here? Maybe. Maybe. I'll wait to uh, engage with the special before we like commit to it, though. All right, here we go. I think it sees us. Where is it? Oh, no, it's just a few of these things. Boop. Boop. Okay, we've got our shield out, which is pretty funny, actually. Okay. We were not actually all out. What the hell? Oh. Damn, I actually kind of like this gun special. It's kind of good. It's kind of good, actually. Okay, the actual damage is not, though. That's a jump, and that's a, a beam of death if I ever saw one. Okay, we'll use that. We don't want to be hit by that whatsoever. Is he going to use a spin attack next? No, I think he's actually just going to jump at us. And we want to roll away again to get away from that secondary attack. Great. You know what? These guys actually, got to be said, not so bad. And I do like that we've got Doggo to kind of like de-aggro him from us. Excellent. I didn't even have to dodge that last skill. Oh, he dropped three separate bits of primary ammo. That is insane. Wow. There looks to be an area just down there that we can go to. I'm not sure if... Oh, I see. So that's going to be one of the crops we have to dismantle because it's, like, surrounded by life. And maybe we want to kill all life. Is that an enemy? What is that? Yeah, that's definitely an enemy. <laughs> I just hit it for nine damage. <laughs> he definitely knows we're after him now. Ah, oh, well, sucks to be him, honestly. Is he coming? Yep, he's coming. Okay. Okay. We can probably get him before he even aggroes us, right? Oh, I love how the range mod on this is actually giving us bonus damage as well. That's so funny. Ah, well, sucks to be him, I suppose. Okay, we'll get up on this bad boy right here, and we'll go down here. We will engage with that giant walking dick, and then we'll see if we can't exercise the fields. Get some Children of the Corn vibes going on. Actually, what if we just, like, go up here? Can we actually, like... Go up from here. Whee! Yes, we can. Oh, my God. Hey, look. So I think this is kind of like where we started, right? We can just like blast this thing away. Damn, we're doing a lot of damage to this. Uh, jump. 
Yep, that was a jump. And we want to jump away from that too. I'm going to try and take out his ads first. Because I don't actually like them in any way, shape or form. Excellent. Let's go ahead and run away from him because I don't actually like him either. Nice. Okay, he has to go and dodge away from that as well. Excellent. Oh my god, I just realized that we are basically fighting against the equivalent of farmers. So I think he actually also chooses a direction to go in in advance. And we just got to kind of like dodge to the side of him. Okay, I didn't want to land the final blow on him then because it was too easy to do. And he's a, he's a bit of a bastard. Yeah, we've definitely been here. We haven't been beneath us. So let's go over to this little hang glider dude over this away. And then we'll hang glide downwards. We're probably done with this area of verticality, to be quite honest. Have we been over there? Yeah, probably. Okay, so down here first, because there was... Whoops, I think I just fell on one of those Watsma dingles. Let's go down here first. Oh, if we hit control, we can actually just drop, which is pretty awesome. That was only a chest. That was so not worth it coming to, honestly. So not worth it. Okay, and down we go. D I said down we go. There we go. Great. And there's no platform around here to activate. No, there is not. So we can't see anything, which kind of sucks, but... The hell is that sound? Is that this? Is that how we distinguish which one's good and which one's bad? Okay, we'll get the sand out. And then we'll start attacking this wanker. Because he's taking additional damage from all sources. Good. Yes. Love that. Excellent. Uh, that's probably for Doggo and not us. I dodged anyway. Just in case. Alright, good. He's going after Doggo, which is pretty funny. Let's get cubing him. We'll get him right in the cubicle. Call me Michael Scott. What a one-liner, too. What a one-liner to finish that off with. Doubt anyone's going to get it, but hey, what? Oh, okay, so we got to get like the... So the crops are like dying, right? And we got to exercise them. Is that what I'm getting at here? Is, is that what I'm being led to believe? Is that these crops are haunted? There's children of the corn, maybe? All right, take these guys out, even though I know for a fact that they're going to be taken out by the actual spirits who are haunting this region. Good, uh, let's reload our gun. Uh, good, we got a labyrinthian coming after us. We annihilated him as well. Another few of them coming over this way. Dodge through that because I didn't want to take that damage. Nice. I want that. Is that a special? It looks like a special. Oh my god! What is this? No shot. Okay, that actually reminds me almost exactly of the end boss fight for one of the DLCs of Remnant 1. What was that one called? So maybe this area is actually a product of. Maybe Naruda's a product of Ward 13 from the original Remnant from the Ashes. Okay, dodge through those. We got him. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, what was it called? It was Remnant Patient 2714 or something like that. And the whole story about that DLC was a person. A human had basically been ascended into the root. And that's what caused the root in the first place. Okay, there's somewhere that we can actually go further back into here. Let's try. Let's try going further back into here. Maybe there is actually something over here. So I'm, I'm starting to feel like all of the... All of the themes of the elevated areas of this game, including the labyrinth and... Uh, what, sorry, Ward 17. Ward 17 was the ward that patient... Uh, 2713, I think. Is, it was something like that. That's where he was basically uh, living, because he... He willed himself into disappearing, and that was the story of the first game. He was the thing that caused all of the root to start invading. Pretty cool, actually. Pretty cool concept. But at the same time, like, it left a lot of questions. Um, like, primarily, who was he? What made him so special? There are other areas now, right? There are other areas, like, for example, down in... Oh, actually, there was a chest over there. Ah, well, chest is probably useless to us by this point. We can go talk to Spark over here, but Spark isn't actually particularly useful us, to us either. There's another area down here that we can go to. And now that I actually know about this whole, you know, we have to exercise some crops thing, we're actually going to be actively looking for it. Like, down here would be a good idea as well to go. Maybe there's something down here. I'm going to go ahead and absolutely blast that guy out of the sky. There you go. And we're going to see if there's something down here. Ah, look at that! That looks like ghost land to me! I know we only caught like a, a very, very small glimpse of... Don't just bit that guy in the ass as well. Imagine. 
You're an elevated Labyrinthian um, lord, right? But... What the hell? But a dog bites you in the ass, and that's how you die. That is how that is how you go down. That's how everyone remembers you dying. But I've, I've been playing uh, Call of Duty World of War on the channel as well. Every time I shoot someone in the balls, it just crosses my mind that that was how everybody remembered he died. How'd he die? He was shot right in the balls, and he screamed as he bled out. So yeah, down here, this is Ghostland. Hey, buddy. Come on over, come on over, ghosty. Come on over, he's got it. Come on over, ghosty. I'm gonna fire the special in there because sand is OP and I like it. Okay, I couldn't even see him hilariously. What is he even doing? He's not very strong. Hey, nice. Okay, so we have just accessed in here. Good to know that we can get into these areas. This is one of those guys that attacked us. Oh, maybe the... Maybe the ghosts are, like, inhabiting these things here. And it's kind of like, maybe the... Oh, I'm actually pretty confident about this, right? Maybe Drazir, we're actually circumventing having to be in flesh suits, you know, corporeal forms, by putting themselves in these robots here. Because this guy also has the same um, head as the robot. And we've also just picked up a prototype arm. I hope it doesn't talk to us. Oh my god. Could you imagine if that thing also talks to us? The hell is up there? Damn. Screw that. We aren't going up there. <laughs> it's not a uh, part of our purview, I would say. Let's come up through here, through all these dying crops. More bad oh, well, don't leave the rest of us guessing what it is, Scarby. Why don't you tell us exactly what it is? Also, if people, like, weren't around for when I started calling her Scarby, it, it, Scarby is kind of like the Barbie for men. You know, the, the banged-up babe that uh, dudes tend to play as for the feeling of female companionship through an adventure. Which is actually kind of cool, I suppose. It's, it's cool that you can actually have that kind of feeling in a video game. Because it used to be that you could only play as, like, uh, Doom Guy, Duke Nukem, or um, Skyrim Guy. Like, huge buff dudes, right? And there are some dudes that play video games that are just huge buff dudes. So wh why would anyone actually care about that as a base mechanic? Okay, we want to go over here next. So that is right there. Okay, there's a dude just down here. I'm gonna shoot at him. Oh my god, that was a crit. Oh, they weren't. That was. What the hell? Dude! Cease! Why is he sparking? Damn, this thing actually hits like a truck. When it hits. It actually does hit really hard. Okay. We're climbing, 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 we're climbing! We're running out of keys to sing him. All right, let's go over here first. Piss! <laughs> More not. Okay, now we have to wait to go down, which kind of sucks. Can we just, like, do it in increments? Oh, we can kind of, like, go down in increments. No, that's not where we want to go. We do want to go down here. We've been to the other area. Here we are. Hey, buddy! What's good? Okay, good. That was bad, actually. That was stupid of me. Uh, cease! Oh, my God. Hello there, Labyrinth Thin Man. Uh, that guy's coming after me hilariously. The doggo bit his ass off again, hilarious. We've got a special over there. I am going to blast into his, what I assume to be his face. Okay, good. That was a perfect dodge right between his legs. Nice! Damn, the sand blaster got him in! Oh my god! I just looked at the magazine. We had 38 rounds left when we killed him, and we started with a full magazine. So in half a magazine, we can take a special out with the sand blaster. That is potent. That is a potent gun. What was he guarding? Was he guarding anything? I see like something on the other side of here. Find a little glimpse of, of something. This. D uh, it's just yellow. All I see is yellow. There's a chest here. Yucky. Got some... What does the light extract do? I remember when we were playing last session, we didn't actually see what this was. This right here. Grand taste. Oh, thanks. Uh, we also got this prototype arm. This unhinged arm was separated from this original machine shell, as it has likely been several times before. Its simplistic design now allows it for it to easily be inserted into a wide variety of different shells. Okay, imagine masturbating with that thing. I probably wouldn't want to give up my meat suit, uh, just on account of this thing would suck to touch yourself with. Highly advanced intelligences, if left idle for too long, will begin to create new protocol for themselves. We were designed to adapt, much like our creators, and intelligence without a purpose is akin to a dying organism. It is a necessity required for us to function. Now, I don't know if that is actually supposed to be Drazir speaking, or if it's actually just a completely 
separate thing because like it could be the souls of the Drazir transferred consciousness into robots which you actually see pretty frequently in sci-fi but it could also potentially be referencing just another creature entirely forming sentience uh, because that's just what it was programmed to do which would probably actually suck to deal with as a creator all right good just tag that on the map real quick and we'll start heading into whatever the hell this building is here it's got a red lock on the door. That's not good. Hopefully there's a key in here. What's in there? Nothing. What's in here? Anything? Oh. Oh, is that? Oh, is this? Something is missing. Yes, I think I know what it is that it is missing. I think it is missing an arm. I wonder. Let's approach the prototype yet. Boop. Analyzing. Status report generated. Restoration incomplete. Additional parts and maintenance required. Scanning surroundings. Oh, Scan complete. The necessary parts are not detected. Please seek them out elsewhere. <laughs> okay, I've got something for you. Proceed. Do you, uh, let me give you a hand. That was a terrible pun, but I'm sure he gets it. I'm sure he gets it. Compatibility confirmed. That's not where I wanted to put that though. Next repair in queue. Please return with a compatible replacement part to continue restoration. Well, Kyoki, so this guy's missing a hand. He is also missing something on the end of his tail. I don't think he's missing anything else though. I think he's more or less complete. We just need four things, right? Do you need any help? Help accepted. Key components are still missing. Functions severely limited. Status critical. Okay, I've got questions. No memory core detected. Okay, we need his hand, we need his penis? And we need a memory core. I don't know where I'm gonna be putting that in. Still in a state of incompletion. I require a claw and a memory core. Return what about your penis? Power save mode. God, I wish my phone did that! Damn it! Now I'm just I'm really pissed off with the current access to technology that I do have. Okay, well, thank you everybody so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find a playlist for Remnant 2. Uh, the... Uh, what is it called? Dark Horizon DLC. I remembered it. I remembered it. No one had to tell me. And up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord. And also, a link to my live VODs channel. Why don't you go and subscribe to both of them? And of course, until I make the next episode, I will be seeing you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching again. And for me, at least, it is going to be Lights Out.